Hello, Owen here from Wise Arts. I'm trying to show you how to do the nine piece kit. So sorry about the instructions. I uh, threw them together obviously in a hurry and didn't edit it properly. So count out your nine pieces. Actually, I might start counting again if I wasn't. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <clears throat> right. The important thing is these are all in the same orientation. Okay. What you want to do is you want to take three of those pieces away. Okay. Flip them and put them on the bottom of your pile. Yeah. So take three pieces out, flip them and put them to the bottom of your pile. One, two, three. I'm flipping them because they need to be on an opposite orientation so you can close off the lampshade. Right? So now we'll place that down. So what you do is grab your first three pieces. Okay. Now the basic rule is these curves here at the top always slot to the straight piece. So I'm going to put it together like that, hook it in like that, bend it, and then hook them together like that. Okay? Grab your next piece, there's your curve on the top there. And there's a straight bit there. Bend it so it hooks and all falls apart and makes a fall out of me. Pardon. Okay, hook it. Right. Okay, so now I've got three pieces slotted together. Now this is a curve and it's a straight. So we're going to curve it around and lock it in. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, as you'll see from that layout that I sent you, there's now another three pieces to be slotted on. So here I go. There's my curved piece. And then I've got three straights here to lock into. So, hook it in there, lock it in there, and kind of go around. Lock it in. I'm actually recording a video for someone and you walked right in the middle of it. So you need to please just be quiet while I, while I make this video. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right. So now we've put another three pieces on. <coughs> and we've ended up with this lovely cone. <coughs> so that's six pieces in total. Please. I'm talking to the camera. Okay. Wait. Yeah, I'm trying to show this gentleman how to make this because he's bought one from me, okay? So now the reason why these are the last three pieces are, are flipped is because if we didn't, it would just keep going open and wider and wider and wider. So by flipping them, it actually brings them, tapers them back in and closes the bottom off. Same rule applies. The curves go to the straight pieces. It's all a bit fiddly, and what I found was that the more you think about it, the harder it is. So I've done my curved bit to the straight, yeah, and then another curved bit to another straight, and then we'll find one more curved bit to the straight. Lock them in. Now it's open, 
And we essentially have to take these last curved bits and straights and lock them in. So there's a curve onto a straight, see? And then there's the last curve. This one's a bit fun, this one. The last one, the close off. The big, the big closer. <clears throat> but it's the same thing again. You just putting the curve to the straight. And there we go. We have a closed off lamp. So don't overthink it. Just um, stick with the rules. So you have your first six in one orientation, two rows of three, and then your last three in the opposite orientation to close off the bottom. Just curves to the straights, curves to the straights, okay? Hopefully that helps. Otherwise, if it's too much, um, these are small enough that I can probably just bag them or something. They're pretty strong and uh, send it to you assembled. Let me know how you go. Good luck. Cheers.